Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. Uh, I got an email from uh, a YouTuber called Tintum13 and uh, he basically says that he's 13 and he's learning how to do all the uh, video effects and he would like to sh to see how I can add a video clip onto a still monitor or TV like the one I have here. So he said, please, 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 I really need this for school. So I said, okay, that's not a problem. So all right, uh, Tim Tum 13, this is how it's done. So grab your picture, drop it in your timeline, and then grab the footage that you're going to use uh, on for your monitor. So I got one here. So there it is, there's my little piece of footage. So what you need to do is roughly place it where you want it on your TV or monitor screen. And what you want to do is you make it smaller than the original. In other words, make it smaller than what the monitor is. Okay. Now you can work in this window, but uh, if you're like me, your eyesight's are shot. I prefer to work in the uh, maximize window. So as you can see, it's larger and it's a lot more easy to work with. And then all you really need to do is change the perspective of the monitor, and that's what we do with these green perspective nodes. So. You'll see that the cursor changes from an arrow to a point. And that means you can then left click, hold, and then drag the node. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go outside the actual screen, like here, and then release. And then do that for all four corners. And that way, you will place that footage perfectly into your monitor. And that's it. Uh, you're done. And if we now have a look at a preview, you will see that now you've added a clip on a still monitor. So let's do another one. Let's, uh, let's, let's make it look cool. Alright, sorry about that. I will first need to create uh, another overlay track. So left click. I only need two because there's three monitors there. Okay, so now I've created three more or two more overlay tracks. And I'm going to drag this one in here. And it's exactly the same thing. I always like to start off with a small frame first, maximize it, and then I'm going to drag these nodes again. Very, very simple. And as you can see, it can be done uh, relatively quick too. And again, let's uh, have a quick preview. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like you're working for uh, NASA. What about this one? All right, um, let me just quickly make one more. Um, yeah, that'll do. So uh, let's call it ball. I'm very creative with my uh, save words, aren't I? All right, that's almost done. I'm going to bring that in. There's ball. On my other overlay track, bring it across, shrink it right in, yeah, maximize the window, and change the perspective. So you can see where this is heading. Okay. Now you could probably make yours perfect. I'm just rushing for the sake of the uh, tutorial. And there you go. It completely changed the look of that picture. So now it looks like it's uh, alive and active. All right, but let's take it one further. Let's uh, let's, let's clear all this out. I'm going to open up another overlay track because I will need it. Let's grab another piece of footage, something different. Okay, so. Here's a bit more of a challenge. So we got this guy here, and we wish to place our footage into this monitor here, but our problem is going to be is his is his arms. So I'm going to grab my footage, and you can see what what's going to happen. Um, where I'm going to cut off his arms. So that's not going to be cool, right? So, but still, let's. Uh, Let's do this anyway. Let's cut off his arms. 
I'm going to have to kind of guess that it's about here. Yeah. All right, so yeah, it looks good, but like I said, you have this arm problem now. We've lost his arm, so we're going to lose that illusion that this is a photo with a video clip on it. So how can we go about this? Well, I'm going to use Photoshop. I'm going to go to Photoshop, and here's my Photoshop. Here's the, the same picture, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out um, basically his arms. So I'm going to duplicate my photo, which I've done here already. And then I'm going to grab my pen tool, and then I'm just literally going to trace over his fingers. Now, I'm not going to do this because it's going to take a little bit of time, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, but if you know how to use Photoshop, then you understand this relatively easy. If you don't, then please send me an email, and I will do a quick tutorial on how to do that as well. But I already have finished mine, so I traced all of mine out. And then once I have it, I saved it as a PNG, because this is important. You save it as a PNG 24. Right? Because if you don't, and you import this into Video Studio, even though you've got the alpha channel here, this will go automatically white. And then you can't get rid of that. So that's not cool. And I've already saved it. I've already done all that work. And then here is my picture here. And then... I'm going to fit the screen, and there you go. So we've done the exact same thing. Now we've got the arms back because we overlaid it on the clip again, and now we have a really cool effect. So there you go, my friends, and Tim Tum or Timmy Tum, <laughs> thirteen. It's that easy. And as always, thanks for watching.